What if editing your podcast was actually kind of easy? Would you actually get started on that podcast that you've been saying you want to make forever? If so, you are going to love today's video. We're going to talk all about how to get your raw audio into a fully publishable podcast. It's going to sound clean. It's going to have a little music and you are going to be proud of what you've created. And if you're new here, welcome. My name's Huete. I'm a podcast producer and the creator of the Emerging Voices Podcasting Accelerator, where I help podcasters create shows that are meaningful, magnetic, and deeply personal. If that sounds like you, you might want to download the 10 step guide to launching your podcast. And if you're wondering why you should listen to me, here are a list of all of the shows that I have worked on. Most people's favorite is Where Should We Begin with Esther Perel. I've also worked on shows like Together Apart with Priya Parker, which I absolutely loved. All right, so let's get into how you edit your podcast in the simplest way possible. I'm going to be showing you how to edit your podcast in Descript because it makes editing infinitely easier. When I first started, I started on GarageBand. And then as I was working on a lot of the shows that I mentioned earlier, I was using Pro Tools. But all of those platforms require you to edit by ear. This means you're looking at the sound waves and you are cutting where you think the person said that thing that you don't want to include in the audio. And that just has a much higher learning curve than Descript does. I don't work for Descript. Descript is not paying me to say this. This video is not sponsored by them. I just genuinely think it is the easiest editing platform and that's why I'm teaching you how to do it here. You can edit a transcript the same way you would edit a Google Doc. And the cool thing is when you edit the transcript, it also edits the audio for you. All right, so you've recorded your podcast episode. Maybe you did it in Squadcast or in Riverside, or if you really want to, you can edit it in Descript right here by clicking the record button. Now, I am going to pull my audio in from the Dropbox folder that I have it saved in. And it is pulling in two files and it's going to ask me if I want it to be a multi-track sequence and it's going to ask me to detect speakers. I want to click both of those because it's an interview podcast. So we have two audio files and we want them to be layered on one another so that it sits like a conversation. I'll show you what I mean. Now, the first thing is I know I labeled it correctly. So I know that the first person is me. Huete, and the second person is my friend Tanika. Now let's click done and allow it to do its thing. It's transcribing the audio. And right now, all we have to do is wait for it to finish its transcription. So quick lay of the land. Your transcript will sit up here. If you have video, it will be over here and you can actually make it bigger or smaller. And down here is what Descript calls your timeline. So this is where your sound waves will be. And if you double click on that, it will show you that each person's track is sitting on top of the others the same way that you had the conversation in your interview, because mine is an interview based podcast. And if you were just one person doing a solo podcast, you would just see one track right here. Now that our transcript is ready, our job is to figure out what to keep and what to cut. But before we cut anything, we want to make sure our file is labeled correctly. So I'm going to label this Tanika and Huey interview raw. OK, the reason the raw is important is because you never want to edit your raw file and I, these are old versions of the same thing that I've used to illustrate this point to my students. So forget these. OK, you will just have your original one here. You're going to click these three dots, click duplicate, and you'll see that you got a copy. You're going to label that copy V1. And now we can start thinking about what to keep and what to cut. And the smartest way that I have found to be able to do this is listen to your episode and start putting markers throughout the transcript so that you know what different topics you covered and when. And you can also add comments to your file. This is what that looks like. 
The way you add a marker is, for example, for me right here, I know that this is a new topic we're getting into. So she's describing her podcast idea. So I just press enter right here and I see this bookmark and that is a marker. So I'm going to add that and I'm going to say Tanika's podcast. And as I go through and I listen to it, I'm going to see certain parts that I know I'm probably not going to want to keep. Okay. So as an example, um, I know that she really starts describing her podcast here. I had two podcast ideas and then she'll go into it, but everything she says before it doesn't actually add to the core of the episode, which is really about her podcast and her moving abroad and how she has chosen to create this really creative life. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cross out anything that doesn't actually add to the quality of the episode that I'm trying to make. So right here, I know that we don't need any of this. So I am going to highlight it. It'll pull this bar up and I'm going to click ignore. Now I'm showing you exactly what to click instead of showing you keyboard shortcuts because I think that's overwhelming when you're first starting. Just know what it is that you're trying to do right now. So I ask her a question and she jumps right into. I had two podcast ideas I remember. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I have no idea. All right. So I know I'm probably going to be cutting more parts and I'm going to be following that rule of thumb, which is does this actually add intrigue, interest, or depth to the story. Now there are two ways to cut. You just saw one, which was crossing it out by saying ignore. But the other one, if I wanted to cut, I remember, for example, I can just highlight that and then click backspace. And that actually removes the whole word. The reason I think it's smart to just use ignore when you're first starting is because you can also undo that ignore in case you made a mistake. The other thing you can do as you're listening is you can add comments. So you can highlight whatever it is that you're maybe not quite sure that you want to cut, but you're wondering, maybe I want to cut this in the future. You can just pull up this comment bubble and say, maybe cut this or tighten. These are the exact kind of comments that I leave on my actual files. And I think that it allows me to have a lot of control in my editing without it feeling like I have to cut everything right now, or it ends up being too big of a file. So once again, your job in the second step is to figure out what to cut and what to keep. Once you've done that, it means that you've cut any parts that don't add interest, intrigue, or context to your podcast. You might still have filler words like ums and ahs, or the person or you might say like a lot. How do we remove those? Go to Underlord and you click on remove filler words. Now filler words is actually a really wide range of words. So maybe it is that you want to remove all of the ums and the uhs, but removing all the likes would make it too weird. Same thing with all of these other phrases. So you might want to unselect all and then just select these two and say remove all. And you can see that our file right now, it's 15 minutes and 25 seconds. If I removed all of the ums and the uhs and I clicked remove all, it is now 1446. So it has shortened, it has removed all of those words. You can absolutely do that. I actually don't always remove all filler words because it is how we speak. And sometimes it's nice, especially if you're making an emotional show, it's nice when someone says, because uh, that evokes an emotion, right? But I think for a lot of you that are just beginning, removing all of them is maybe the easiest place to start. So let's do that. If you don't actually want to remove all filler words, let's bring them back. You can just have a descript show you where they are and you can play the audio and remove some by 
doing exactly what we've learned and keep others. Another thing you can do here is shorten word gaps. So word gaps are anywhere where you have a lot of space between where you're speaking and the other person speaking, or you might take a really long time to say something and have a lot of silence in between your words. Descript can actually shorten those word gaps for you. This is true if you're someone who takes a long time to say something, or if you're someone who thinks a lot before actually verbalizing what it is you want to say. It can shorten gaps that are longer than a certain number of seconds, and you can set these seconds, and you can shorten it to about one second. I'd be careful with this just because you don't want to sound too robotic because you don't have enough space between what you're saying. But if you do find that you're someone who takes a really long time to say things, just like that, you can use the shortened word gap tool. So use these tools carefully, but know that they're there for you so that you don't have to do every single thing manually. Something that I think is really smart is you can add avoid harsh cuts. You can turn that on so that the script is careful with how it cleaves off the ums and the ahs, okay? This is actually interesting because this did not used to exist uh, until recently. This helps you edit in a way that's not super harsh, and that is what's going to help your podcast have continuity and it's going to sound super clean. Now, once you have done this, you can make a duplicate of this file. Once you've listened to this full episode, you like the content, you like how everything sounds, then you can go and make a duplicate duplicate, which we're then going to label version two. So in version two, we're going to be adding music, leveling the audio and getting it ready for exporting. So if you did want to auto level your audio, you're going to go to file up at the top left. You're going to click project settings and you are going to enable perform automatic leveling on clips. As you can see, that is already happening here. So you're going to want to make sure that these three are toggled on so that your audio sounds consistent throughout your episode. If you notice that the other person or you have a lot of background noise, then you're going to want to use studio sound. So as an example for my friend Tanika, she is at a cafe doing some work and the audio is pretty loud. So what I have done is I've come here to Underlord, clicked on studio sound and turned on my studio sound settings. And right now studio sound is at 100% intensity. At 100% studio sound tends to make your audio sound like you're underwater. So you're likely going to want to reduce that studio sound. I'm at a cafe in Paris. Mm -hmm. I'm doing a little work session today. So forgive us for the noise. It's not super. Okay, so at 55%. I'm currently at a cafe in Paris, um, mm -hmm. doing a little work session today, so forgive us for the noise. What Studio Sound is doing is it's trying to clean up the noise, right? And when it's doing that, it's going to make you potentially sound a little bit muffled because it's trying to dampen the sound around you. So you want to make sure that you are only using studio sound to the extent that it is not messing with your audio. This is partly why it's so important that you record really high quality audio from the beginning, because you can't make up for some of these mistakes on the back end. All right, so I have deleted the entire beginning of the episode. I know that my version two has all of the contents that I want. I've cleaned up the ums, the ahs, the any additional filler words. I've even added studio sound to make sure that the audio is as clean as possible. My audio leveling is uh, set to automatically level the audio between the two of us. And now I really want to add some music. So, so let's say you want to add stock music from Descript. You're going to go here and you are going to click on audio and check which audio files you are going to want to play. Now you don't have tons of options. There's music and there's sound effects. These are personally not my absolute favorites. I use Epidemic Sound for all of my music, but what's nice about this is that you can get this for free as long as you're paying for Descript. Let's say I wanna use this. So I'm gonna add that music in 
And as you can see, it's added it as a layer to the audio that already exists. So what I want to do here, I'm gonna zoom in by just using my fingers on my trackpad and I'm going to add a gap clip, okay? The gap clip is just giving you some additional time in your audio file. It's just giving you some silent moments, okay? So the reason I'm doing that is because I want my music to begin before my audio file starts playing. So right now we've added one second of a gap clip. We are gonna want more. So we're just gonna go to the edge of the gap clip and we're going to extend it, right? Now you can see the number of seconds is increasing to two, maybe even 30 seconds. So let's play our audio again. I'm so excited to have you on this Emerging Voices podcast. So it sounds good, but um, we are gonna need the music to go slightly quieter because it is way too loud once I start speaking, right? So what you're gonna do is add volume keyframes. This brings in some volume keyframes where you can start fading your music down. So in order to do that, you just click Control and then uh, right click and add volume keyframe. And now you can see that we have two. And I can move these volume keyframes to the left, to the right, up or down. If I move it up or down, it's going to increase or decrease the volume. If I go down, decreases it. If I go up, it increases the volume like this. I'm so excited to have you. That's too loud. And actually what we're gonna wanna do is slowly fade it out as I speak, so. I'm so excited to have you on this Emerging Voices podcast. How are you doing? Where are you? I hear some noise behind you. So that is essentially how you would adjust the volume. And let's say you wanted to just cut the audio right here, the music file. You just click the letter B, it gives you the blade tool. Click A, it gives you the arrow tool, and you can delete the rest of the music and you can fade the music out this way, okay? So it essentially does the same thing that decreasing the volume does. And if you wanted to fade the beginning, you could do that as well by just using the toggles right here. I'm so excited to have you. And once you're done with that, you're gonna wanna click export and set the format to MP3 if you're gonna upload it to a podcast distribution platform and you are going to click export and then decide where it is that you want to export your file. And I would actually label this final. So editing is not scary. Descript is now your new secret weapon. And if you want to make sure that your audio sounds as good as possible, make sure to watch this video, which we're gonna link in the description below. Now, if you want help launching your podcast with clarity and confidence, you'll wanna download your 10-step guide to launching your podcast. And if you're ready to work with me inside the Emerging Voices Accelerator, you can book a call using the link in the video description. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.